What do you want? I said, what the hell do you want? You want work? You want work? Sorry. Kinda jumpy. Right now, kinda on edge, you know? But to be clear, I didn't do it. Folk lie, you know, make shit up. Don't add up. Why would I kill him? Don't make sense. I didn't. And I wouldn't. And, and, and you got my word on that. Honest. I'm not a liar. Anyway, you friends with Micah? With Cleet? With Samson Finch? Well, don't matter much. As long as you keep your mouth shut. And don't lie. Folk talk a whole heap of shit. I swear I hardly knew the bastard. But this fella... This fella and his bunch. Degenerates. And liars. If you kill him, maybe I can walk free again. Like a gentleman, you know? Good. They're over at Fort Brennan. Oh, hey! Hey! Don't worry. It's all right. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Timmy, come on down there. We got company. See, I told you I heard something. <laughs> well, ain't this a rare treat? <laughs> Are you hungry? There's some stew in the pot. Someone let his plate go cold, didn't he? Well, now I wonder just how I got so distracted, sweetie pie. Stop it. <laughs> Hey, I figure we got ourselves a strong, silent type here, Bray. Might be just the person we need for, you know what. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I think you might be right. You see, there's some folk who done us wrong, some bad folk. Took advantage of our warm hospitality and disrespected Tammy here. And then just gone away. What do you think with the extra curd? Mmm, yeah. Mm, that is nice. Mmm. Real silky. <laughs> now, we're just simple farmers. But someone like yourself might see fit to apprehend said folk and return them here to us for some reckoning of the situation. Well, we'd pay them real well. And we can be real grateful. Oh. Now, last we heard, uh, they was fixing to take a stagecoach north from Saint Denis towards Van Horn. Well, I think that's a yes. Well, ain't this just a day to be thankful for? You know what? I think I'm gonna finish off the stew. Oh, it'll be stone cold by now. Oh, nonsense. Well, I would eat your meat off a dirty floor, princess. You know that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. 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 It's for my nerves. The bad nerves. Really bad nerves. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not a bad, bad fella. Well, not, not, not that bad. What are you looking at? Well, folks, always stare or screw you over. It's one or the other I find. Which are you? A stare or a backstabber? Hoping just a stare. Say, you want to help me out? Go find this snake. His name is Ian Carmichael. Great guy. My, my, my best friend. Best buddies we was. Totally stole my goddamn girl. Stole Shaky's girl, he did. I trusted him. He stole her. I'll, p I'll pay. But you gotta kill this bastard for me, will you? Go on, then. What you want? You're just standing there, looking pretty. You gonna introduce yourself, eh? <laughs> you one of those cabrones got busted out of prison. Come to Flaco, looking for work. Okay. But can I trust you? Well, how do I know you're not a... How do you say? Una rata. 
<laughs> Stay on your toes, eh? I made you jump. You got people vouching for you. I give you a chance. You find these people been causing me trouble around Lake Isabella. Maybe we get on, okay? There ain't room for another gang up here. Understand? Now go. Go on. Get out of here before I try and shoot you again. Cabrones. Hold it right there. Are you here to cause trouble or to help me out? Because I've got more than enough trouble, my friend. So, if you intend on annoying me, let me know now so we can step outside. Spare one of us the trouble. Am I making myself understood? Good. Uh, I'll tell you, this whole county is not too keen on civilization. But they will be. If I have to string nine out of ten up, the tenth who remain will live calm and peaceful lives. Calm, peaceful lives where their main form of entertainment is public executions. So be it. I am not a man to be annoyed by the unjust and the uncivilized. Again, for the record, am I being clear? Good. Now, if you're looking to help out a poor town teetering on the abyss, I'm always looking for guns to help out. In fact, let me see. Right now, there's some wagons outside need escorting through some dangerous country. Decent fellas. I wish the world were different, but until we make it so, it won't be. Good day to you. All right. Etta Doyle. Used to be known as Madame Le Pearl. She runs a gang of other fallen women, sticking up trains and coaches mostly, but seems to have a particular fancy for robbing Leviticus Cornwall of late. So his men have set a honeypot to lure her in, tipped her off about a big stash of money and ammunition at Cornwall's freight yard in Saint Denis. Asked if I can send some good bounty hunters their way. Just be careful. They play smart. Uh, looks like she only sent one. Okay, we gotta move fast here, come on. Now the bait's already been set. Etta Doyle and her girls could be here any minute. Mr. Cornwall, you don't want his name anywhere near this for reasons I'm sure you can understand. Just wants it dealt with quick and quiet. You're gonna wanna ensconce yourself in here. Now wait till they bust in, and then, when the moment's right, ambush Miss Doyle and escort her into custody. They want her alive. You get paid, we get rid of her, everyone's happy. Now don't worry about her cronies. She's the one with the price on her head. They're notorious for dressing alike. So you bide your time, you figure out which one's Doyle. You'll know for sure when you see her face. Got a big old scar down her right cheek. And we're just gonna hang around and stand guard, create some semblance of security, and just pray the crazy bitch don't bust in and shoot us straight in the face. All right now, it's time. Find a place to hide, and we'll wait for the guest of honor. She claimed to be royalty, but uh, had a head the size of a pumpkin. That must have been really <laughs> something. You made it. Huh? Uh, follow me. Now, uh, like I said in my letter, we are going into business. I've been breaking down animals since I was knee-high to a splinter. And I worked as a tanner up in Wisconsin back in the 60s. It's uh, a very long story. So I've got three words for you. Cripps Trading Company. Pristine pelts and animal parts for bulk sales. I know the market's there. All I need is a partner. So I'm thinking you source the materials. Skins, plumes, horns, and the like. I'll clean them and prep them. Then you go out and make the sale. 
Hell, we might even eat well out of this for once, too. Wouldn't that be nice? <coughs> Why are you still here with us? Your provisions, Mr. Oh, Cripps. Oh, yeah. Right, uh, pack the rest on there, will you? Now, uh, with any opportunity comes risk. The competitors, thieves, me losing interest in the whole idea. But if we combine our talents, we'll be unstoppable. Now, I will require a, an initial modest investment, of course, startup costs and such like, but you'll recoup that as fast as you can say, hey, Cripps, you handsome genius. <laughs> so how about it? Are you in? Oh, I forgot. Uh, not much in the coffers right now, is there? Uh, no problem to pay me later. You know where to find me. Mr. Philip Carlier. I don't know where to start with this one. I remember when his poster first went up. Mild-mannered, they said. Well, they all are, until they ain't. I might have even looked for him, too, but none of us could find him. It sounds like they spotted him in the swamps. If that's where he's been, on the run all this time, then God help him. Ain't much in the way of company out there, or much that won't try and eat you or put you on a pike. Got to ask what years of that might have done to his mind. You're here. <laughs> you're here. Oh, thank heavens you're here. See, I've been here for, must be years, trapped. You see, I, I thought no one would ever come. Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you already know that, given why you're here. My, my, I can't, can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> oh, no, no time for any of that. Now, if you just let me... Oh. So hoping for someone to share this with. Comes on rather strong the first time, does it not? <laughs> this better not be them. It's not them. I'm here. I'm here. You got me. I come willingly, but... Uh, please hear me out. I'm in danger. Not from you fine people. Rather, some cutthroats. I was quite unwise to trust. I promised them the deeds that I uh, misappropriated, if they would help me flee. Uh, now... I have it on good authority that they mean to kill me for those deeds. Protect me, and they're yours. I'll give it all back. Yes? Good. Good. Follow me. They will be here very soon. Stop! We're coming out. <laughs> Don't shoot! Your friend the marshal here. Come to save him, huh? Huh? Hey, please. Looks like you have me cornered here. If I'm going down, he going to. There you are. How'd you get on? He got on just fine. You know he did. What? I know he did. Yeah. See it in the sky, you smell it in the air. He ain't no saint, but he's a good un, a fine man in a nasty world. <laughs> An American, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the madam picked well. Horley, this fellow'll do more than Avenger. With any luck, he'll save us all. Oh, there ain't no luck, Mr. Jones. It's just a man's heart, not much else. Well. He's got a good one. A fine one. Send him to help out the marshal. The whole damn place is going to shit. 
and we need more good fellas to let us loons rant in peace and howl at the moon in safety. Maybe. Oh, but, but, don't you and the madam kill the boy with vengeance, nor kill him inside with grief. Like you said, he's no saint. But like I always say, if you need to earn some money and stay somewhat out of trouble, Go see Marshal Davies. He's supposed to stop every bastard killing innocent folk. Of course, uh, it's the nature of the thing that good men go bad, and bad men, some of them go good. But the Marshal will see you right on that. The world always needs good men, and finds it easier to birth the bad ones. <laughs>